today's Dish in It is sponsored by Price Cutter, Local Matters. Welcome to Dish in It, guys. Today we're making a Cajun chicken wrap. It's very simplistic, Jeremy. I like simple. I like simple. Sometimes I'm in the kitchen and I just want to make something simple. <laughs> okay, I like how you open that chicken. Now let me just tell you, I did try to sharpen those knives this morning. Okay. So be very careful. Okay. All right. I hear you. You hear well, me? I just touched chicken. Could you go ahead and turn this sure. uh, back is skillet? That, no, this that one, one. This one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll get that going. We'll put that about medium high. Now, so... <laughs> You're cracking me up. I'm trying to tenderize Don't it. Don't beat that chicken up too hard. I'm trying to tenderize it just a little tenderize bit. Tenderize it. Yep, that's one way to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, that's calling for one half inch pieces. <laughs> so get those going. And here's the thing. In this recipe, it asks us to do the... Ooh, I think I noticed the sharpness. Oh, good. I, I did it right. Okay, pass the oil. I'll go ahead and put some of that in there for you. Two tablespoons of oil. Hey, good. Isn't that better? I think it it's actually is so better. much better to have a sharp knife. Um, so you're going to start cooking. If I ever chicken. started a band, Kelly, I'd call it the Sharp Knives. I like that. You like that? Yeah, that's a good one. And we'd always sing sharp. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good, but <laughs> but if here's the deal. Hmm. You know that would be hard to do to get everybody to sing sharp. Like I was going to say, everybody would have to be the same amount of sharpness mm -hmm. in the band. Yes. Or it wouldn't work. Other, have you ever? Or heard it would be the Clash. And I think there was a band called. The there Clash. was already the Clash. Yeah. Right. yeah. But we could also be the B flats. I don't like to be flat. <laughs> I, I am sometimes, but I don't like to be flat. Have you ever, have you heard of a, um, she was, I think, a YouTube star first, uh, named Miranda Sings? I don't know her. And she's actually a really good singer in real life, but her character, Miranda Sings, is the funniest, horrible singer ever. Really? And it, I just happened to see a video of her yesterday on TikTok of her singing Defying Gravity. And from she Wicked. sings off key? It's not necessarily off key, it's just really bad. It's just, I, I'll have to play it for you because it okay. makes me gutturally laugh till I cry. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's that funny. You know what I'm I, like, I like I don't know if I could actually sing that bad. You know, you that bad, it's hard yeah. to sing. Well, it's hard if if you know how to sing, it's hard to yes. sing off key intentionally. But hey, I, I don't do the TikTok thing a lot, but I will tell you, I was, I was looking at some things because they pop up on TikTok the other day. Mostly I don't like it when people scare me or something, and, and you're, you're pretty jumpy, and the other last couple of weeks I've been pretty jumpy, but somebody all over on this TikTok, it was a whole theme of people, they, you know, one person in the room's in the fridge or or has a bowl of water or something, and the other one comes up and, and does this horn thing, and it's oh, yeah. loud. I mean, at first I was, I was thinking, that is so mean, and you ought to see the look on the other person's face, but I, then I got to laugh and like that guttural laugh again, it was hilarious. I'm, I'm like, yeah. There's one similar These thing that they play this. They play this really loud song. It's a certain song. Uh -huh. and they play it super loud. Yeah. And everybody drops their cereal, yeah. or their coffee, or. If looks could kill. Oh, I mean, gosh, some yeah. of those looks. I'm like, oh my goodness. Yes. Let's see if we have any sizzle here. Okay. And then Jeremy Can you once. Turn that up just. Oh, turn it up. Yep. Yeah. So then it says, heat the olive oil in a medium-sized pan. Add the chicken and sprinkle with one and one half. Tablespoons, not teaspoons, tablespoons of Cajun seasoning, which we have. Yes. And I do hear the sizzle. Yes. Here is the tablespoon, one and one half of these. Now, I'll be honest, Kel, I may eyeball it too because I want oh, sure. some Cajun seasoning. Oh, sure. Of course. And I haven't tasted that. Is that hot? Um, I'll taste it before I do. I, okay. I have this at, at my house. Okay. Oh, and yeah. I love it. I have this one. I love the rubies because they have the Creole. Yeah. And they also have the um, taco seasoning, which I love. Creole lady, mama, la, Oh, this has had chicken juice, so nobody touched yeah, it. Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. I'm just trying to okay. move things Yeah, over. that's good. There we go. Chicken. My hands are clean. All right, so I want to say that now it says to add the sautéed vegetables. I'm going to put them in this pan. It says actually to do the chicken and then take the chicken out and then do the vegetables in the same pan. But for time's sake, I thought maybe we should do our own thing over here. Do it. And it says to add that to this too. It says one and one half tablespoons for the veggies. Oh, that's good. Is it good? That's good. Okay, great. It All has right. a little kick. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start <laughs> cutting these. Okay, you just eyeball that. I'm just kind of hey, I'm telling you, I'm enjoying this sharp knife. It's not that hard to sharpen these. Knives. By the way, guys, don't forget to check our website. The Sharp Knives will be on tour this summer <laughs> at a venue near you. Yeah. <laughs> that's you hilarious. Imagine? No. Why would somebody call themselves the Clash? 
because it wasn't like a clash of like to, I know, but of the notes, connotation but like, of it's not good when you're a band. Well, how many bands do you know really do clash behind the scenes though? That's probably a part of being oh, a band. Oh, behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. but they, you know, all the bands break up eventually. Oh, I know. Because their egos get in the way maybe. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a theme that happens a lot. Um, <coughs> All right, so two of these. Gosh, I shouldn't have eaten that spice by itself. Oh, my goodness. You knew what? No, it's not that spicy. It's just, you know, it's by itself. Okay. So I'm getting these. Uh, there are two bell peppers that go in, and then one onion, and then some tomatoes. That sounds good. That we will add Ooh, I love the tomato aspect. Yeah. But, no, guys, this is a chicken wrap, but it, it doesn't say anything about cheese, and that just seems weird to me. So there's the recipe, surprised. guys. No I'm cheese involved. And, and... Here's the deal. I know you, Jeremy, and I know that you would enjoy the cheese. So, if we want, we'll add one, or we can do one without. Now, where did you find this cheese? In our refrigerator. Do we know how long it's been there? Yes. Wait. All I gotta do is because you know that one time at my house and I put moldy cheese. I thought about that. Okay, can you see the date? I just want to make sure. Okay, yes. You find the date. Yes, I'll find the date. And I also found some salsa. Now, the only reason I may not do salsa is because it's Cajun. Oh, okay. Well, I may fine. not. For I, me. I be on the side. But for me. Yeah. Um, this one says, please use by... Okay. Best used if used by July 23rd of 22. Oh, yay! We're good! See? See, we're good. I'm inspecting the mold. Okay. I will tell you, that that would have to be disappointing. It was so sad, Kelly, oh, yeah. that day. It was a I, sad day so you just house. had to throw it out everything that you had yeah. done. And it was going to be yeah. so good. Yeah. Oh man, that looks nice. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking good. And we do have some huge tortilla shells. I'm still wondering if those chunks are too big. You mean for the wrap? You want yeah. me to cut them smaller? The wrap, maybe. You know what? Well, I'm going to let them yeah. cook. Yeah, just let them cook. They're easier to yeah. uh, then yeah. cut I, once I they're agree. cooked. I agree. That looks nice. I agree. Wowza. Mm -hmm. So it's super simple, guys. Really, like four or five ingredients is all there is as far as vegetables and chicken. I'm going to do this next. I'm going to go ahead and get that other. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, doesn't you... this seem like a lot of this? Do you think we just need one? Well, I, mean, I, I do know. love bell peppers. Like, I don't know why bell peppers get a bad rap. My... In the culinary world, give them a bad rap. My brother cannot stand green bell peppers. He says if they touch anything else on his plate, he won't eat it. But here's the reverse. I don't even think they're that flavorful. That's the thing. That's the reverse of the culinary world. They say they are bland and they use this filler. Oh. And it's like, there's no, they, the culinary world's like, there's no point to a bell pepper. And I'm like, I like them though. Well, okay, so now I want to know, I know it's a nightshade ve vegetable and some people don't like to have nightshade because they say if you have arthritis, you're supposed to stay away from nightshades. But, I don't have arthritis, so I've never heard that. Okay, so but I'm just saying. But I'll think about that in the future. I want to say that they have vitamin C. I know the red ones do. I want. I think they have vitamin C. Okay. Hey, don't go anywhere. We're working on our Cajun chicken wraps, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be cubing the smaller yeah. for the wrap. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Please stay tuned. <laughs> 